What's up, guys? I don't know what's going on over here. There's been a a cop cruising around here constantly all day, all day, right around this spot, coming around, going up the alley in the back, and now here comes another one pulls up. Ooh, another one, guys. Sorry, guys, it's kind of raining. Get up under here. Must be somebody inside there. They must have broke in. I think this is the, home, the owner. No, it's not. He must work for the owner. What'd they do, break in? Behind you. Somebody break in? Fuck. Drug addicts, man. My God, dude. They kicked in my garage when I first moved in that house right there. Stole about 20 grand worth of construction tools. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. I have a YouTube channel, man. This house is this house has kept my YouTube channel going. <laughs> it has, man. I ain't even kidding. Three, four times a week, man. They have um, paramedics yeah. and police here. Oh yeah. ODs every every three times a week. Oh, people over OD over here. Yeah. Is that why you finally just shut it down? Well, they were like police would never. Would not let them live there. They That's said right. they have the clothes. They don't have no lease. They have no right to be there. But because they have the clothes there, it's what? their residence. I swear to God. So they break in, and then they are allowed to stay there. Basically, that's basically like saying I can come kick, kick your, in my kick house and live there with me. And like, hey, I live here now. I got clothes. <laughs> this is my residence. You can't do nothing. But about what it. if they're not? I mean, I don't understand that. Obviously, they're breaking in. Well. I mean, isn't that breaking and entering? Burg you any would, something? You would think. Yeah. You would think. Wow, man. But I mean, it's just. But now I heard they sold a shit ton of stuff from him in there. Oh my God! They, they used, that's where we watch all the UFC fights, the Super Bowl. Oh, is that what? Wow. It was basically our. It was basically our. Clubhouse. The party. Yeah. Little clubhouse. I mean, yeah. Pool table. I mean. I've seen that. I've seen you guys in there before. Yeah. I mean, it's just. It's nuts. What we got going on? Oh, here? it's my son. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, had, I mean, they had an 80 inch projection screen that you pull down that oh, goes on man. the wall. They just stood on the pool table, stole the projector, stole the projector. It's a heavy set guy that owns the Premier, right? That owns this? Yeah. He yeah. Kind, of, kind of looks like me. Everybody yeah. says he's my dad, a little or my bit. brother. Is he related to you? Nah, no. Just, I, we've been I don't good think you guys look alike. I, I don't think you look before. alike. <laughs> well, we got the bald head, and I think that's what does it. I got you. And, uh, like I said, it, I could be called worse. That's kind of racist, man, having a bald head. They're <laughs> yeah. racist against bald headed exactly. people. Exactly. Saying they all look alike. <laughs> I'm, a top, I'm a top, I'm everything. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Because you have a bald head? Exactly. <laughs> uh, you don't strike me as a cop. Yeah. But, you know. Uh, hold on. <laughs> but, yeah, they. I've, I've got, dude, I, go to News Now Ohio. That's my YouTube channel. Uh -huh. And you'll see probably. 30 videos of this house on it. Jeez. All this shit going on. I mean, it was three times a week that the ambulances and paramedics and oh, yeah. fire trucks were here. <laughs> I mean, imagine the resources they wasted. And imagine how many people actually did die from a oh, yeah. legitimate cause. You know what I mean? Because of, them. Because of that. Yeah. Is it News Now? News Now, Ohio. Yeah. I've got, there's a, one other guy that copied my channel, but. I have over 9,000 subs. He's only got a few. News now. 
you will probably come up. There are, there's a few of us, different ones. News Night Houston. What we do is we film the police and we film government officials. Yeah. We do something that's called First Amendment audits. Gotcha. And we go around and we film the cops. We film, like, judges, court officials, anything. And see if they respect the First Amendment, you know, the right to record in yeah. public. Yep. But, yeah, did you find there me? There ain't nobody in there. Well, that's good. News Now O-H. I yep. That's the I'll one. Definitely check it out. Yeah, sub on there, man. Yeah, You'll get clicks, it. man. You'll get uh, dings when I post it. Right. It'll probably be right around here. <laughs> hey, if you get dings, hey, you get notifications, you'll know if someone breaks in because I'll be watching it. <laughs> there ain't nobody in there because they done broke in, stole everything they wanted, and left. Yeah, the people in this neighborhood are so bad, the, the, the drug addicts and just the, in generally, just the homeless people. Um, they've had a war. The police have got a war against the homeless people in this town right now. They're going around to all the camps in the town and shutting them down, making the people leave them when they got them in the woods. There was a lot of camps, homeless camps in the woods and stuff, and the cops have been going around shutting them down, trespassing the people and stuff, so they've got really nowhere to go. So they just wander. And the north end, you know, it's not really high class neighborhood. So, you know, they got, a lot of them congregate here, around here. Uh, that's why you see all the garbage around my neighborhood. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but like when I was filming the, 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 the corner, I was sitting right here but next to the spot. There used to be a, 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 like a bench, a metal bench, a cast iron bench. bench. They stole that. I mean, it's just crazy. Can't have nothing. But guys, this is the uh, this is the uh, firehouse. Okay, that that it's no longer a firehouse. It's a name. It's a um, it's a historical district site. It's the hose house. It was built in 1900, as you can see right there, guys. 1900 uh, hose house number six. But uh, <laughs> they still got the uh, they still have the uh, uh, they still have the pole inside there from what I heard and I know that they still have on the etched in brick they have um, the names of the original firefighters that was stationed here at this one etched in the wall on the brick and they still have that in there it's kind of like a memorial for them. but uh, but yeah they uh, they still got it but yeah so now it's an apartment just an upstairs the downstairs is like an open big ass open garage area um, but the in the upstairs is a, a remodeled um, apartment, so it's pretty nice though. I mean, they, they remodeled it pretty nice. It looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, but yeah, there's been police, and I, and I know it doesn't have nothing to do with this garage because he just now come here and found out that it was open. But they've been coming around the police, the same car. It was a cruiser, not a SUV. It was one of them, um, I guess, Caprice or whatever they have. But he kept going around the block, and he did it like six times. I videoed one in the last one, and that one that was named Creeper Cop. But he's, you know, he's, uh, he was up to something. I don't know what, but, yeah, so. I mean, the house has got potential. It's a nice big house, big garage, but you just can't keep the drug addicts out and the homeless. So, you guys heard him. I mean, you would think when they kick in the wood, the, the doors, and they go in there and, and camp out, they'd be able to get get them for something. But how's anybody supposed to rent their homes if people can just go kick in the doors of any a vacant house and and put their clothes in there and say, "Oh, I live here now." What kind of shit's that? It will kind of that, that don't make no sense to me. I bet you if they was up in the neighborhood of Rolling Hills neighborhood, that's a really richy rich neighborhood here in Hamilton and Fairfield. I bet you they'd be arresting them. I bet you they'd be getting them out of there. But, you know, I guess since we're lower income here, they, they ain't got the time, you know, 
So it, it makes no sense to me. Surely the police could take them to jail if they broke into an apartment and started camping out there living, saying they lived there. I don't know. I mean, I've heard of squatter rights and all that, but there's I don't believe there is that when you break into a place. I mean, like like you said, what can someone come here kicking my door while we're living here? Throw his clothes in my living room. And when I call the police, the police just say, well, there's nothing we can do about it. That makes pretty much no sense. <laughs> so, all right, guys, well, I'm going to get off here. It's News Now How. Signing out.